Welcome back Otaku Nation, Oda King Life coming at you for a first time on a quickie figure video. What we're talking about today is we're, we're going to grab five figures or so out of my collection and um, we're going to be looking at some of the sexiest ones, uh, whether it's just the girls themselves, the poses they're in, or the clothes they're wearing. Either way, we're looking at sexy anime figures today and this is my first five grab. And we are starting out with a fan favorite, Yoko from, uh, you know, Grun Lagan. Hugely popular when it came out. Uh, still popular to this day. And this is the first figure I grabbed out. Now, she's, she's got a little dusty going on. Uh, she's been a bit of a lazy girl. Uh, no enemies to fight lately, I guess. She's put her gun away. So she's getting a little dusty. Uh, someone needs a cleaning because she's been a dirty girl. Uh, either way. This is a classic figure. It's her, you know, her classic outfit or bikini type outfit. Um, it's a really nice pose. I, I like the side stance. Uh, you know, she's got all her, all her bits and bobs on her now. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is that her gun's not here. I would really like it even just to be slung over her shoulder or, you know, even sitting at the base. Doesn't really matter. Either way, I thought I'd start out with a bang, with a popular character, traditional look. And either way, it's uh, it's not a bad little fig for, uh, you know, a low amount of dollars. So, why not? Let's start with her. Now, let's put her to the side. And we're going to jump into the next popular character, but we're moving up in the uh, the, the recent list here. Uh, oh, she's taller. She's a bit taller. we got to move it back here. And we got Rem, obviously, from um, uh, ReZero. Now, for Rem here... This is not her traditional outfit. Uh, she's in a, what is it, a maid type bikini outfit. Um, yeah, looking looking a little surprised, a little happy on that uh, that facial uh, expression there. Uh, not bad, unlike Yoko who's just, you know, chilling and quite happy. Uh, Rem's looking like maybe she's a, she's a little blushful. She's a little, little, little shy about uh, what, she, what, you know, Subaru has her wearing. Either way, um, I really like it. Uh, I would love to get the Ram version because obviously there's probably a secondary version of her uh, sister. But what I really like about this is one, you know, all the colors are there, all the you know bits and bobs are there. But I really like this base that it's, you know, it's specific uh, base. You know, has the name, a little bit of fancy dude doodly dads down there. I really like it. Um, you know, it's full all the way around. You know, not, again, not a bad figure for the price point. And, um, looks good on the shelf. That's all I can say. So, and it's actually the first Rem figure I have. I don't know how I don't have more. Every time I try to buy her, she always sells before I get there. Either way, uh, I like it. And, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go next. So we're gonna put her over there. Now, what we have here is one I just recently picked up uh, from Excel World. It's Kuro Yuki Hime. Is that it? Now, this is obviously in her, you know, other world form and her butterfly outfit. I love this figure. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the wings and just the whole outfit in general. I think it looks great. The, you know, the butterflies that are that adorn her outfit and as well are all over her, you know, the base where she stands and on her shoes. Uh, I really enjoy this figure. Now, look at those wings. Those aren't amazing. Now, of course, you know, she'll probably end up falling over one day and breaking, but uh, hopefully until then, uh, she'll look real good on the shelf. And I mean, uh, her hair really spreads out. Um, really enjoy this figure a lot. I was very glad I found her. Now, the only thing I would say about her is that her base sucks. It's just a standard black. I mean, I'm, I hate these standard bases. They just do not look good. Just a round two as well. I mean, Yoko's at least is like a octagon type shape or something. Again, um, but hey, for again, in the lower range, price range, uh, I think it looks really good. And um, I'm not complaining. Now, what we have up. Uh, as the bonus here is this figure that's right behind all these girls. I don't know who this is, but she is awesome. Um, her 
you know, her weapon is just crazy. Her outfit is crazy. Um, everything about this girl is crazy. Like, look at these wings. Now, of course, she's been sitting here for a while, so she's also a little dusty. I mean, the articulation and everything on this girl is out of control. Uh, the quality of this just feels amazing. I mean, this uh, is, a is a serious figure. Now, I'm not sure who this little froggy dude down here is. But again, I'm not 100% sure who this figure is. I mean, I'm sure, you know, 30 seconds of Google searching would let me know. But hey, I didn't feel like doing that right now. So I just thought I'd leave her in as a special bonus as a check this chick out. She's fine. So what we, I, I've been just enjoying having her in the backdrop. And I like her being there because, uh, yeah, she's sexy. Now, as the final, we're going to go up top because she's a big girl. And um, what we have, of course, is uh, Yuki from Haruhi. And what she she's ginormous for starters. Now, these figures are pretty expensive. So, as uh, we start out with the three cheaps, the medium priced, and then, of course, one of the expensive girls. And what we have here is uh, mostly it's this, this fishnet stocking. I mean, it's a real material. I mean, it's not, you know, it's legit and it feels uh, pretty good. If you're uh, one of those fish night boys, uh, these figures got you covered. I mean, they are uh, quality and her bunny ears and everything else really just folded together. Of course, there's a set of them. I only have one or two of them. Um, I would like to get the rest, but uh, they're kind of jacked in the one to 200 plus range. And, you know, I'm a cheap guy. So, either way, this was my first quick look at the first five sexy anime figs I pulled out of my collection. Uh, hopefully, I'll start this as a little serious because I got tons of these figures around. This is the safe for work version. The uh, I got ones that aren't so safe for work. And um, let's try to keep it on the reel here. And leave a comment down below. Let me know if, uh, you know, what figures you got, what ones you like, what ones you want to see. Uh, leave a like and uh, subscribe and all that other jazz and I'll talk to you next time. Let's try to keep it short. Peace